Polonius decides uh, he's going to photograph a very picturesque barn. It doesn't go very smoothly. By late afternoon, a tired and hungry Thelonius was ready to pack it in for the day until he saw the ruined timber barn. It was set well back from the road in a field so long untended, it actually seemed to consume the structure. An oak tree had fallen onto the roof, causing it to collapse. The tree was thriving and had even become part of the barn, feeding new life into something left to die. Parking at the edge of what had once been a driveway, Thelonius got out of the mini. He stood for a moment perusing the site. Slinging his camera bag over one shoulder, he trundled forth into the overgrown field. A no trespassing sign lay on the ground, covered over with weedy detritus. It was still attached to a chain that had fallen down between two rotted posts. He passed right by, never seeing it. Thelonius photographed the barn from various angles, changing lenses as he saw fit. Although the weight of his camera bag was a nuisance, he dared not set it down for fear it would be swallowed by the overgrowth. Approaching the barn's entrance, he noticed several bales of hay inside that had been left there to rot. Rust-covered farm implements lay scattered about, both inside and out. He included them in some of the images, since they lent extra character to the scene. He even captured a triangle of sunlight coming through the barn's collapsed roof as it returned the moldering hay to its original golden splendor, zooming in when a mouse poked its head out to feel the sunshine on its whiskers. The light shifted and changed hue, adding shadow, depth, and richness to his compositions. Had Thelonious' attention not been caught by a ramshackle assemblage of containers off to one side, he might have seen the figure skulking in the shadows behind him. A rusty metal cylinder with a triangular-shaped lid had been set up in a corner of the barn. An encrusted pipe had been attached to the top, the elbow, the elbow joint bending it sideways, connecting it to a worm-eaten wooden barrel. Its remaining iron bands had turned green with corrosions. Glass jugs and jam jars lay strewn about on the dirt floor. Some looked as if they had mouse droppings on them. Thelonius's nostrils detected the odor of fermenting grains. It appeared that he'd stumbled upon a moonshine still. As Thelonius framed it in his viewfinder, he heard a loud explosion. A bullet whistled past his right ear, nearly taking his deerstalker hat with it. Hold it right there! A wiry old man with a shotgun stepped out from the shadows. He planted himself solidly behind Thelonius. A long, scraggly beard hung from his chin. It would have been white, if not for the dribbles of tobacco juice. Thelonius was pretty sure he saw things moving in it. <laughs> the ancient codger aimed the firearm at Thelonius's chest. The brown sticks of his arms surprisingly steady as they stuck out from tattered bib overalls. This here's private property, he shouted. Thelonius took a few steps back, feeling his bowels loosening. I thought the barn was abandoned, he croaked. Abandoned? The old man spat into the dirt. This here barn ain't abandoned. I must have made a mistake. I'll say y'all made a mistake. This here's my farm. Sorry. Hmph. The farmer squinted hard at his intruder, his creased face like a dried plum above the beard. Thelonius shifted the camera bag to his other shoulder. I'll just be on my way then. But the farmer had other ideas. He moved nearer, closing the gap between them. Did that no account Bobby Ray Tuggle send y'all down here to steal my corn liquor? No! Thelonius shook his head until he thought it would fall off. The cozy relationship between the old man's index finger and the shotgun's trigger was making him nervous. Y'all don't know Bobby Ray? I don't know anyone. Okay. If y'all say so. Hoping this was the end of it, Thelonius turned to go. Not so dang fast. Didn't y'all see my no trespassing sign? What no trespassing sign? Y'all walk right past it. It's there plain as day. A skeletal brown figure pointed toward the barn's gaping entrance. Can't miss it. But I didn't 
didn't see any sign. Ah, shoot, trespassers. The farmer gave Thelonious a grisly brown grin. Shot me one last year. He's buried out back of the barn. Want to see? No. Trespassing's illegal in these parts. But it was a mistake. Y'all breaking the law. But the old man relocated his aim from Thelonious's chest to his head. Now get off my land, you thieving varmint, he hollered, before I make y'all into a stew for my supper. Although Thelonious had no desire to become the special of the day at Shea Hillbilly, <laughs> he found his exit blocked by the gun-toting pensioner, who didn't appear particularly inclined to let him by. Another bullet whizzed past, this time singeing the fur on his ear. The farmer's maniacal cackling echoed in the dilapidated barn. I ain't never had me no bar or stew before. Thelonious backed away until he could go no farther. He bumped up against a wall. Skirting it, he tried to get around the old man, who looked as if he were about to take another shot. Thank you.